Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a review on the Dynamax Evolution Exhaust for the Jeep Wrangler um, JK JKU I put this exhaust on back in January, haven't had any problems with it, but I figured, I know a lot of people want to get an exhaust for their Jeep, so I figured I'd do a little bit of a review on it. Um, so I do have the Best Top Fastback Soft Top, that's a mouthful to say. <laughs> um, so it does make it quite a bit louder than compared to if you had a hard top on the inside. Now I do have a Rode mic on, so it kind of does cancel out that outside noise. You can probably hear a little bit of it, but it does cancel it out for the most part. So that's not a good measurement tool of how loud it is. Um, but my buddy has a similar, very similar exhaust and he has a hard top and it is noticeably quieter. So I would say if you have a hard top, you will not notice um, too much of a sound increase by just doing the Dynamax Evolution exhaust. I would say you'll witness about maybe a 10% increase in volume, if that. Um, and that would be only if you're getting on the gas. If you're, because mine's not that loud either, if I'm like, you know, partial, probably like quarter throttle or less, um, you can't hear the exhaust at all. It's when you get to about half throttle to full throttle, that's when you notice the huge increase in sound, obviously, the higher RPMs. Um, but that's when it really starts to get loud and gets that little bit of a drone at the highway speeds But I did drive the Jeep um, As you may have saw in a really old video or you may have not saw because it has no freaking views on it <laughs> um, But you may have saw that we drove to the Grand Canyon um, We went down to Antelope Canyon first went to Horseshoe Bend checked all that out. That's in Page, Arizona um, then we went to the Grand Canyon after that, and then on the way back, we stopped in Moab for a night, and then we came back to Denver. So, along that whole road trip, I did have this exhaust and the soft top, and it was definitely tolerable. Now, the worst spot, or worst part of it, would be when we were going through the mountains, and that's just because I also have the 410 gears in 37, so my Jeep was trying to run in a lower gear in order to have enough horsepower to get up the mountain. Um, so that was really loud and obnoxious and Olivia could not sleep during that Because um, it was just that freaking loud But it's definitely tolerable. Um, I would say over the normal exhaust. It's probably I don't know maybe 25 to 35 percent louder somewhere in there um, And then you probably add like another 10 to 15 percent on top of that if you have um, a soft top, but I'm used to it. It's my daily driver. I drive it about 45 minutes to work every day and I don't even notice it anymore like I said I'm I'm so used to it it doesn't bother me at all when someone gets in my vehicle that's has or that has a hard top and a stock exhaust they definitely notice the difference um, but like I said my buddy Josh he's got um, he just deleted the muffler on his and it's actually about the same loudness as the Dynamax Evolution exhaust and he has a hard top and it is noticeably quieter um, on the outside, they sound about the same. His has a little bit of a raspy tone at the end because he has no muffler, whereas mine has a little bit cleaner sound. But yeah, he has just a muffler delete, which is not a bad idea to do either. I did that as well. But with the soft top, I could not do the muffler delete. That raspy, high pitch noise at the end when it would shift and come off 
come off of one gear and go into another gear it was absolutely horrible it was it hurts your ears it was so bad it was terrible but I rode in his with the hard top and you can't really notice it so if you're looking for a cheap way to get a little bit louder exhaust and to get that huge muffler out of the back of your Jeep you could just take that last section off if you want it's a really cheap and easy effective way to do it like I said I didn't want to do it because I still wanted a muffler and I didn't want that loud raspy noise at the end so I got the Dynamax Evolution exhaust and I think I paid like hundred and twenty dollars shipped online and he called Autoplicity so if you want to get an exhaust for really inexpensive and that's what you're looking to do Google it see the price on there who has it the cheapest like I said you could always just take the muffler off I didn't do it because the soft top and the reason why a lot of us delete the mufflers on the Jeeps or get a shorter exhaust is because the actual muffler for the Jeep Wrangler is probably about I want to say four feet wide and maybe a foot and a half deep and it takes up a lot of room and a lot of people hit them on rocks all the time so I've had mine deleted ever since I did the lift in tires I've had the new exhaust so I haven't had a chance to hit my muffler but I have hit my hitch a lot I've hit um, the rear frame a lot and that's the muffler sits right inside of that so I know that my muffler would be beat to shit if I still had it on so um, yeah so I'm really glad I did it like I said your girlfriend or wife probably won't like it if you have a soft top but you do get used to it like I said Olivia doesn't even notice it anymore because she rides in it all the time also uh, but I'll give you guys a warm start cold start a um, couple drive-bys couple takeoffs um, just so you can get an idea of what the exhaust does sound like on the outside and the inside and actually I lied I probably won't do the inside because I have the road mic on top of my camera so it cancels out most of the outside noise so that's not really a fair assumption but if you live in Colorado and ever want to ride in my Jeep feel free to uh, message me or hit me up on Instagram and you can ride in my Jeep yourself and you can tell me how loud you think it is so if you're a new subscriber I really appreciate it we've grown a lot lately so yeah keep subscribing keep giving a thumbs up constructive criticism is always good um, I don't mind it at all you know there is obviously the hate comments I get a lot of those too and I guess keep those coming too because they are freaking hilarious to read so I don't really take those to heart so if you think that you're um, getting at me or getting under my skin I really don't care it doesn't bother me at all so keep the hate comments coming more of the positive comments would be awesome I do like reading those as well those are a lot nicer to read but either way keep subscribing if it's your first time watching my videos make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button and make a comment feel free to introduce yourself to the channel and uh, we'll keep making some videos all right thanks guys have a good one